Hi everyone, and welcome back to another wonderful Wired Wednesdays. My name is Ashley, and today we're going to unlock the secret to getting great answers from AI tools like ChatGPT. It all starts with writing the right prompt. A prompt is simply what you type into ChatGPT or another AI tool, like Google Gemini or Microsoft Copilot. Think of it like giving instructions to a helpful assistant. The clearer the instructions, the better your results. Now for an example. Tell me about plants. No. Can you list five easy to care for house plants for a beginner with low light? Do be specific. Write me a recipe for dinner is okay, but write a 20 minute vegetarian dinner recipe using zucchini and chickpeas is way better. Don't leave out important context. Write a short three sentence summary for seniors about how Apple mail works. If I have a Gmail account, do give the AI a role. Pretend you are a personal trainer or act as a writing coach helps you guide the tone and style. Don't overload it with vague ideas. Try to avoid things like be creative and make it cool and awesome. Instead, describe what you mean by cool and awesome. Iterate. If it's not quite right, you can always say, make it friendlier, add more detail, rewrite for a senior audience. Think of it as a conversation, not a one shot request. You can also hit the pen and paper at the top and start a new prompt at any time. Try this formula. You want to give the AI a role, act as a, give the AI a task, write a, give the AI tone in a friendly and clear style, and then add some details. Use plain language, include three steps and keep it short. And here's an example of prompt to build on what we just learned. Act as a travel planner, suggest three weekend trip ideas in Ontario for seniors who enjoy nature. Keep it simple and under a hundred words. And that's it. You can take what you learned today and you can use it on any AI, whether it be ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Microsoft Copilot, and there's other AIs out there as well. Just remember that clear prompts equal clear answers. You need to start small, be specific, and don't be afraid to tweak the request. And you need help crafting the perfect prompt? Come visit me at the library. Thanks for tuning in to Wired Wednesdays and I'll see you next week.